no holiday is complete without a bit of shopping. And joining me this morning is Mick Baines. Mick is the Castlebar Tourism Officer. We're in the heart of Castlebar as we speak. Mick, it's buzzing. It's absolutely buzzing. It's a fantastic time of the, the year and the staycation message seems to have got across to people. It's very busy at the moment and we're absolutely delighted to welcome people to Castlebar. Variety, choice, value for money, these are all the things people look for when they come to a town like Castlebar. So you can offer that? Oh, no, absolutely. Castlebar is a great town in the sense it has the, the big name brands like behind us here, but it also offers that unique local shopping experience. The family businesses that have been there for generations upon generations and the old family names that we're familiar with here in Castlebar. And that's what's unique. A lot of the high streets will be the same around the, the country and we can go to any of them shops. But browsing in a little jeweller shop and we have the award winning Nigel O'Reilly here who um, is the goldsmith to the stars and uh, he has a workshop here in Castlebar. We have award-winning restaurants, we have a 2000 seater theatre just over there. So we have everything really to offer anyone that wants to come and visit. I know Castlebar Mick has always been renowned as a great market town, but I suppose with all of these facilities on its doorstep from Loch Lana to the museum and other places like Strayed Fox, not, not far away, you know, one can complement the other. Absolutely. They all complement each other. And what I always say about Castlebar, it's the hub of the county. We're right here in the middle of the, the county. Nowhere is more than an hour away from us. So you can be in the Atlantic Ocean within 20 minutes. You can be up in North Mayo within a half an hour. You can be down to Ackle within an hour as, as well. It's a great place to set up your base for a vacation and also from, from shopping. It has all those things to, to offer the vacationer and resilience as well in tough times that you know all of these shops thankfully have remained open employing local people and that's important. Absolutely and they're coming up to the 29th of June when people were reopening naturally enough people were a little bit wary but talking to the local businesses there was a, a real sense of we're going to get out of this and we're going to come back and the, the phoenix rising again and there was a, a great strength among the businesses in town and it was, it, it was fantastic to see it and only last year the town won the Rising Star Award from Enterprise Ireland and the Bank of Ireland and that was a reflection on the good work and that kind of shooting for the stars attitude that the business people of the town have. And finally, you know, the, the way it's all spread out from sort of the main street to the high street to the shopping areas around the town, it, it gives people a good balance. It certainly does and there's plenty of space and there's one thing that people tell us when they come to Castlebar that they're impressed with the car parking and traffic management issues. So last year in the bank holiday weekend in August of last year when Mayo played Donegal there were 30,000 extra people came to Castlebar and the town itself was able to handle that. So there were no or little traffic issues and there was no issues with car parking. So we're wide open for business, we've plenty of space and we'd love you to come. Mick, keep up the great work as the Castlebar Tourism Officer and thank you for talking to us. That's Mick Baines.